Hello everyone, welcome back to another Dawson video. Uh, this video is a little more interesting because I know many lad, many lad, you're already out on tour, you're already doing shit, you're already getting ready for probably your first show, or you've already done your first show, I don't know. I don't keep track of this, everything in the world, I mainly work on avatars, I thought I'd make a special avatar for you, because you did stuff for the first project the special avatar is for you it took me a couple days to actually do more like a couple weeks because i kept trying to figure out how to place the logo onto the avatar i kept trying to get the hair color right from your last avatar you had and uh it, it, it's not exactly the avatar you use on vr chat now it's more or less the avatar an avatar that I'd like to see you use in the future. If you're ever interested in getting this avatar, I don't have a world yet where I'm going to be throwing all my avatars into. I have a lot of avatars that I've made that I want to put into a world, but it's going to take some time for me to actually learn how to make a world for all of these avatars to work with. Now, you can already see I'm already in VR chat. I've already played around with the avatar a little bit. It's got its own custom emote, dance emotes, one meme dance emote. I enjoyed making it, making it and trying to fix it up. It has one of your logos on it, which was one of the reasons why I tried to get a hold of you on email. Uh, I never got a hold of you, so I just went ahead and made it. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like it. This one's for you, Minnie. Sit back. Relax and enjoy the video, everyone. And I'll see you all at the very end. To protect your soul Now, again, many This avatar kind of took me a little bit of time to get into making as uh you can see i tried to put a lot of effort into this avatar and tried to get a lot of it done but uh some stuff just wouldn't stay on and some stuff wouldn't leave go away like the mask the mask i didn't want on but i couldn't figure out how to get rid of it so i just completely gave up and kept mask 
to be honest, YouTube is kind of toxic, so the maths kind of works in that term, term of sense, because YouTube is a toxic area at this time with all the memes and all the stuff, random stuff that goes on on it. As you can see, I did use one of your logos. I browsed the entire internet trying to figure out what logo would best fit onto this avatar. I tried to use a different logo, was too small. I, to be honest, I went through around 156 different logos before I actually found this logo and it actually fit relatively well in proportions to the hoodie. Now, the reason the hair is the color blue is because I like the color blue and I wanted to keep the aspect of your last character. It did have dynamic bones, but the dynamic bone structure was weird and uh, didn't want to really function properly. So I had to get rid of its dynamic bones and uh, it's a lot more functional than the avatar you are currently using. But uh, again, if you really want to get this avatar mini, it did take me a long time to actually get it done. This took me around at least two and a half weeks to actually go through all the images and find what I wanted. I did email you asking if I could use your logo, but I never got a reply for, from you. So I just went ahead and made the avatar anyway, because uh, I thought it was going to come out really well, and it did come out the way I wanted it to partially. The only thing I wanted to get rid of was the mask so that uh, you could see yourself uh, talking, but nope. You can kind of tell that you're still talking because the mask jumps up and down, as you can see now. But uh, I'm going to show you some of the cool emotes and features that I put into this avatar. As you've noticed, your shoes are completely special, custom made. I added some detail onto to it. By that, I just mean I did a bunch of lines and shit. Uh, I put a galaxy texture onto the pans so that it looks like the universe. Because uh, I thought it would look pretty cool and it actually came out looking pretty cool. I kept the aesthetics of the black because usually whenever I watch your videos, I mostly see you wearing black versions of your merch. Or white versions of your merch. But, uh... I kind of like the black colors better, so I went with the black color instead of any other color. I could have altered the entire thing to be white, but if I, I did that at the beginning, and then I noticed the white looked completely utterly horrendous and did not match the avatar at all. I might go back and make a second one of these that is white. I don't know. It is entirely up to whether or not I am in the mood to actually make it. There are avatars like these. This was completely complicated to do. As you can see, your eyes do move around. I have a VR headset, but I decided not to plug it in for this because when you're in a VR headset in an MMD world, you don't want your... Uh, headset plugged in so that you can enter into the F10 which is basically a full cinematic of the dance which I kind of enjoy using. Again it took me a while to actually find the proper one proper logo I wanted to use. It sort of flipped but you can still understand the logo and you can still understand that it says mini lad but on other people's point of view, they can read Mini Lad, where if you were to look into a mirror, you see this, and it, and it's in reverse. If I could flip it, I would, but GIMP, the program that I use, and was taught by my friend Pink. Thank you, Pink, for teaching me that. Uh, I don't know how to f flip any images. So if I were to have flipped the image, it would probably look really well in a mirror. But I'm just glad to have actually been able to do this one and actually been able to see its outcome. I do a lot of shark-based ones. I do a lot of moody one avatars as well that I don't use as much. 
I was going to add a special watch to the avatar, but uh, I would have to go through other avatar stuff so that I can actually bind the watch onto this avatar. Basically what the watch would have done was tell you how long you've been in a world for. But I hope you enjoyed the video, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, oh yeah, before I go, I'm going to show off some of the special emotes. You have 0 to 100, which is this one. You have bubble top. Me and my friend Pink use the same uh, avatar aesthetic for and files for uh, Mr. Beast Avatar. Uh, I'll show what the Mr. Beast Avatar is in, in a second here. And you'll be able to tell that it was used by the same files. But uh, this one was one that I custom made. Pink made the Mr. Beast one. This is a Kingdom style, one of the meme ones. I put it in there. I was gonna add music to all of these, but uh, to add music is a lot more difficult than you actually think. Because you have to go through the aesthetics of everything else. Again, if you want to hit me up on any of my social media, uh, or want to just email me uh, that you want the avatar, just let me know. I'll hop on for a few minutes, pass the avatar off to you so that you'll have it but uh this is basically the avatars the emotes and everything and then you have your dab and then you just have a normal wave no you don't you have a different wave this was not a part of the mr beast one i believe i think she got rid of half of this stuff but uh, this is the mini lad one. Uh, I hope you enjoy the seeing this the mini. Uh, this did take actually a long time for me to make. Trying to get the hair aesthetics right, figure out how to do all of the gimp stuff, and how to work it. It did take me a couple days to actually get it done. A couple, I mean, actually two to three. Uh, and uh, thanks again, Pink, for, Pink, for teaching me how to use Kif. But uh, this is basically the Mini Lad Avatar. If you haven't seen Mr. Beast Raid Avatar, Mr. Beast Raid Avatar, her was there were two of them. This was the Mr. Beast Raids Avatar for the first one. This was the Mr. Beast one for that raid this was the male version and then we had a female variant and the avatar for that one i also have both both of these were made by pink flowers uh pink is a good friend of mine she's really good at art and she's really good at drawing she also likes voice acting and she's such a sweet and amazing person she custom made all of mr beast avatars that we used in the raid video that raid video is up on my channel. If any of you boys want to go check it out, feel free to go check it out. But uh, that that's not what this video is about. It's about Mini. And uh, this is going to be a personal Mini avatar for me. If anybody ever wants it, just DM me on Discord or get a hold of me somehow. And I have... And Mini, you already have an email from me, but uh, I doubt you looked at it, and I doubt you'll ever reply to it, because you're a busy man. I hope to see all of you in the next video. Please leave a like, leave a comment down below, and I hope to see all of you in the next video. Bye-bye.